Hello, pod pals. It's the 22nd of December. (laughs) Yes, and you're listening to Santa's Christmas Diary. I can't believe I've only just thought of pod pals. Oh, dear me. (laughs) There's only two shows left after this one. Well, I'll try and use it as much as I can, pod pals. So, roll the music, pod pals. Okay then, Pot Pals, Uh, we've had a wonderful response from uh, yesterday's Sleepy Time show. (laughs) I hope you weren't listening whilst driving. That's all I can say, Pot Pals. (laughs) So, anyway, Pot Pals, we've got some... Should I stop using Pot Pals? Am I saying Pot Pals too much? I just feel like I may have overdone it now, Hugo. What do you think? I like it, Santa. You like it? Well, (laughs) okay, Pot Pals. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right, well, as I was saying, we have had some uh, lovely responses and some more emails. And uh, these will be the last emails I read out, I'm afraid, Pod Pals, because, yes, it's too late to get your emails in now. But thank you ever so much. I really do appreciate everyone who's emailed in to the show. Uh, you've been absolutely fantastic. It's been wonderful reading them all. And uh, I do enjoy reading them out. Yes, to all you lovely Pod Pals. <laughs> <laughs> right then, let's have a uh, look on the old computer. Ooh, actually, before we uh, look on the old computer, I, I do have a shout-out to do. Yes, I do love a shout-out. And I'd like to say a big hello to uh, some uh, pod pals listening today. Uh, George Orchard, yes, who's eight, and his brother, William Orchard, yes, who's four. And I just want to let you know that I did receive your letters. Yes, I did. And um, V-Bucks, hmm, I shall see what we can do, OK? <laughs> and I shall see you Christmas Eve in Bristol. Yes. Thank you very much. Right, uh, back to the computer. So, are we all uh, connected and ready to go today, Hugo? Yes, Santa. Wi-Fi's working fine. Oh, that's good. Uh, And what about the uh, sandwich? Sandwich? Yes, the old sandwich. Is that working? Or sandwich? Uh, That, you know, uh, something to do with the internet. I'm not entirely sure. (laughs) But it's making me hungry. Oh, bandwich you're talking about. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, yeah, have we got loads of that? Yeah, loads of that. Oh, jolly good. (laughs) Right, let's have a look. Right then, the first email uh, comes from uh, Simon once again. Yes, from South Africa. You've emailed him before, Simon, haven't you? (laughs) Lovely. Thanks for emailing again. Lovely to hear from you. It says, hello, Santa. It was such a surprise when I heard you read my email. Well, (laughs) surprise again. I'm reading your other one. (laughs) <laughs> thanks thanks for sending it in. I really do appreciate it. Um, I completely forgot to ask some questions. No problem at all. Right, let's see what Simon from South Africa is asking. Um, how do you hide your toy shop from Google Maps? Uh, oh, well, the entire North Pole you're talking to. Talking to, talking about, <laughs> referring to. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay, right in the muddle today. Well... <clears throat> It's very clever. It uses uh, a little bit of North Pole magic. And in fact, the entire North Pole, where my workshop and everything is, is covered by one giant uh, sort of glass dome. Yes, well, I say it's glass. It's technically made out of ice, but um, it looks a lot like glass. And um, <clears throat> how it it reacts with the, uh, with the light and uh, enabling the whole of the North Pole to be invisible, even on your old googly maps. Yes, it's very clever. Um, Hugo knows more about it. It's something to do with um, some kind of quantum thingy magic. Hugo, can you uh, explain? Yes, yeah, sure, Santa. It's quite simple, really. Uh, it just uses quantum uh, mass, what collaborates with the virtual hiccup ties, and then that connects to the um, wobble fun pump, and then beams through up straight out into the diameter, flux, flux, and then it whirls around, and then it expands into the mass of the teleportation monkey juice, and then that wriggles through into the wires of the light snow relief, and then up the house of the chimney comes down, the big pole around, wraps around, and it goes up and down, and round, 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 and then the big bowl over the mountain tops, and then the light northern fries down and shines, expressing the light into the hypnotized over the zone, and then a banana monkey fun bridge comes and crosses the system, and then that's why you can't see on Google Maps. I see. That's very interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I heard the word monkey. In there. <laughs> you go. Okay, but that's very interesting. There, there you go, Simon. That's the reason why. Um, um, <clears throat> and you do have another question. Um, like Rudolph, that has a song about him. Do you have a favourite Christmas song about you? About me? Well, um, yes, I, I definitely do, Simon. Yes, my favourite Christmas song about me um, 
is definitely Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> I do like, because it's a, a kind of like a, a signal uh, saying that I, I'm arriving. Hello, everyone. I often sing that when I walk into parties. <laughs> I burst through the door. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> yeah, I do that quite a lot, don't I, Hugo? You do it all the time, Santa. Yes, <laughs> I, I know, I know. But um, I must say, I must say, um, I have never, ever once got stuck up a chimney, OK? I'm not sure who wrote that song, When Santa Got Stuck Up a Chimney. That has never happened to me. It's not about me. I don't know anything about that one. So, uh, no, not that one. Hugo, have you got a favourite song? Well, yeah, I quite like um, The Happiest Christmas Tree. The Happiest Christmas Tree? Yes, that's a good one. Ho, 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 he, 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 I'm the happiest Christmas tree. Yes, that's a lovely song, Hugo. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, Simon from South Africa, thank you ever so much for your email. And thanks again for um, emailing in and listening to the show. You definitely are a pod pal. <laughs> wonderful. Right. I think we've got another email. Let's have a quick look. Oh, yes, here we go. <laughs> Dear Santa, we have been listening to your podcast from day one, and we are enjoying it very much. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. Um, we just wanted to ask, what is your favourite tasty treat to have left out for you when delivering presents on Christmas Eve? Oh, that is a good question. Yes, well... It changes around the world, you see, yes. Um, I get left out all sorts of things, really. Some people leave me gingerbread, yes. Um, but the most popular has got to be, uh, let me think, uh, cookies are definitely the most popular. Yes, or biscuits or whatever you wish to call them. Uh, chocolate chip cookies, very, very popular last year. And I'm hoping they're just as popular as this year. <laughs> I do. But also mince pies. That's another hit. I do love a mince pie, as you probably already know. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, drink-wise, refreshment-wise, um, milk is a very popular one. But if you do leave me a little glass of milk, please, please, please don't leave it too close to the central heating system. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it goes all warm and it can go a little bit sour. Yes, especially if you leave it out around 6pm and then I don't arrive until midnight. Hmm, can it be a bit tangy? <laughs> yes, so, but milk is very enjoyable. Some people um, leave me sherry. Sherry is a very popular drink in the, uh, the United Kingdom. I get left quite a lot of that there. And also in the United States of America, lots of households like to leave me a beer. Yes. <laughs> now, don't be offended if I don't drink the whole bottle of beer. No, 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 no. I might just have a sip or two. But um, don't worry. You don't need to worry about alcohol because it doesn't affect me. No, because I have magical powers, you see. So no, no, it doesn't affect me. Um, and of course, for the reindeer, carrot is a must. Yes, they do love munching on carrots. Yes, and it saves me, to be honest, saves me, me buying any for a while. <laughs> but as an extra special treat... The reindeers really do love a candy cane. Yes, but I can't give them too many. No, 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 because it makes them go a bit doolally. But um, they do love a candy cane. And, of course, all your reindeer food that you scatter on your paths outside um, your house. Yes, they love munching on that. Um, if you haven't got a roof, they love munching on that whilst they're waiting. <laughs> so that's, yes, yeah, great question. Thank you. And it also says... In your email, uh, we want to make sure we leave you something tasty. So thank you for that. To be honest, I really don't mind what you leave me. <laughs> I love food, yes. I eat nothing else. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, dear. And um, we want to... Uh, uh, oh, it says here, are you allergic to anything? Thank you for asking. Yes. Yes, that's a good question. That Well, uh, no. No. I am not allergic to anything, so um, that's absolutely fine. I can eat and drink absolutely anything. It doesn't affect me whatsoever, so that's good. And uh, that's a lovely email from Annie, Jack and Catherine. Thank you very much, you three, and uh, Merry Christmas to you. 
Um, Hugo, have you what's have you got any favourite uh, snacks or treats you like? Would would you like to share with our listeners, our uh, pod pals? <laughs> Well, yeah, I like uh, candy canes, like the reindeer. Um, I like maple syrup. Um, I pretty much have maple syrup on everything, Santa. Yes, you do. You, you are a fan of the syrup, aren't you? Yes, I really am. I really do like it quite a lot. In fact, no, I love it. I love it. I, I could drink it. I could I'd just out of, a, out of a cup, I could just drink it. Yes, but, you know, it's best on things, isn't it? Yeah, I like it on burgers, pizzas, spaghetti. Mm, that's a bit strange, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not strange. It makes it makes it all taste so lovely. Well, yes, I can't argue with that. It does taste lovely. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for that, Hugo. Righty ho! And the last email of the uh, well, the entire podcast, in fact, I do believe, yes, because uh, we've run out of time for any more emails, I'm afraid. But um, you can keep your emails coming in because uh, next year. Yes, we should be doing this all again, shall we? Yes, well, we'll see. We shall see. So, yes, the last email of the podcast. Um, and it's from a good old pod pal. Yes, they've emailed him before. And that is um, Lacey. Lacey, Ronnie and Myla. Yes. Hello, you three. Lovely to hear from you again. Uh, definitely my uh, number one pod pals. <laughs> Now, it says, we would like to know these questions. Righty-ho, here we go. How do you get all the presents in one small sack? Well, I think I have spoken about this already on the podcast, but um, you may not have heard that yet. It uh, uses something very special called my gift vortex. Yes, you see, it's very clever because the presents aren't actually all in the sack. Yes, it's very clever. The, the elves came up with it. And uh, what happens is, um, when I land uh, on your property or your roof or outside your house, um, all the data uh, gets transferred from my um, Arctic map. So the elves know where I am exactly. And what they do, they load the presents onto the gift vortex. So as soon as I reach into my sack, the presents allocated to the child who live at that property will be in my sack. So at only, you know, at any one time, I, I don't have billions and billions of presents in my sack. No, I have like four or five, you know, or one or two. It depends how many children there are and how many gifts they've got. So it's very clever. It means I don't have to carry around a humongous heavy sack on the sleigh because that would really slow things down. So it's very clever. Yes, the gifts come through the, 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 the gift vortex, through time and space, travel right up there. Very magical stuff. I can't explain it. But it's super, super magical. And very clever. All down to my elves. Very, very clever. Uh, now, next question is, do you have any spare reindeer? Hmm. Of course. You all know about my my famous reindeer. Yes. Uh, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner and Blitzen. And, of course, Rudolph. We all know about Rudolph. Oh, my word, don't we? <laughs> Pod pals. Yes, we certainly do. Um, dear. But, um, well, we do have other reindeer at the North Pole. Yes, believe it or not, yes, we have got a reindeer farm here because Bernard, who uh, looks after all the reindeer, he um, he does ad he, uh, he adores them very much, he does, yes. And uh, we do have other reindeer strolling around. But, um, you know, uh, my famous nine, they're, they're the be best reindeer in the business, so I'll be using them for many, many, many years. Prob probably, you know, for thousands of years to come. Yes, because they don't age, you see. They get to a certain age where they're in their finest finest point and they stop aging. So um, the other reindeer really are just uh, Bernard, Bernard's, uh, Bernard's friends, I suppose you could call them. <laughs> but no... Reindeers are very trustworthy. They'll never let you down. Yes, but Rudolph does get a bit big-headed. <laughs> OK, another question from uh, Lacey, Ronnie and Myla. Um, have you ever had any elves from the South Pole? Ooh, ooh, good question. No is the answer to that one. Um, I uh, We don't, uh, don't really... Um, how do you put this... Uh, not get on, that's not the word. We do get on, we get on with everyone. Uh, we don't really, um, you know, we don't, we don't really hang out with South Pole, you know, really. We don't, we, we don't ever, ever really get the chance to go down there. No, that, 
you know, everyone I've met from the South Pole is absolutely delightful, really. And, uh, you know, but um, no, we're busy up here in the North Pole, you see. So they do their thing, we do our thing, yes. Lots of penguins there, I do believe. Yes, they can't fly, can they? No. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> another question here from you three. Are any of your elves human? Hmm. That is a good question. Um, the answer is that quite is quite simple. Is uh, no, none of my elves are human. No. Of course, you may have seen uh, the the film Buddy the Elf. That was a he was a human elf, wasn't he? <laughs> and you see, you saw what happened there. Yes, <laughs> he was a little bit useless, wasn't he, at his job? But he did try very hard, and that's the most important thing. Yes, trying. I don't know. Um, Hugo, have you got any uh, human elves in your family? Human elves? No. No, I didn't think so. Not not even your mother-in-law? <laughs> I'm going to tell her you said that. No, no, please don't. <laughs> please don't, Hugo. Only joking. Oh, thank you. <laughs> OK, and one last question. The final question from there. Uh, Lazy Ronnie and Myla is, uh, what's your favourite Christmas film? Oh, that's a good question. I I do enjoy lots and lots of Christmas films. I really do. Um, some of my favourites are, well, there's one called Santa Claus the Movie. And that's a jolly good one. Yes, that's a fun one. And uh, they, in fact, they copied my old head elf's uh, name, Patch. I think the elf in that's called Patch, yes. And that, that's my old head elf's name. Isn't that right, Hugo? Yeah, Patch, yeah, he's still around, isn't he? Yes, he's still around. He's just retired now. He's retired, yeah. Living the life of the uh, sunbathing right now. Snow bathing. <laughs> oh, very good. I see what you did there, Hugo. Very funny. Yes, I do enjoy that one, but there, uh, there's the old classics. It's a Wonderful Life. Yes, that's a wonderful film. Um, there's there's many, many Christmas films. I do, what I do, I do like, I tell you what I do like, that's called Arthur Christmas. Yes, I like what they've done there. They've tried to copy our uh, technology up here, but they've, they've not got it quite correct. But um, yeah, a good try. Good try, Arthur Christmas. <laughs> good try. Thank you very much for your questions, you three. Absolutely fantastic. Your superstar pot pals. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, there you go, pod pals. I'm afraid that is all we've got time for today. And of course, tomorrow, yes, is the 23rd of December. Our penult, penult, pindle, penokit, what? Penult, what is it? What's the word I'm looking for, Hugo? Um, I think it's penultimate. Yes, that's the cookie. Tomorrow is our penultimate episode. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yes, so I cannot wait. It's going to be wonderful. Thanks again for sending in your emails. Uh, it's been an absolute joy to read. And uh, But until tomorrow, be happy, be safe, and be jolly. Cheerio, pop out.